All right, so you're trying to figure out what am I wearing on my head? Well, this is where the imagination of your customer comes in. We've got Medusa snakes. So it's a Medusa headband. This one's going to be a quick, easy. Now, of course, you're going to need something to make sure that you can do these curly cues. Now, I have got my CD pump that I purchased at All American Balloons. You go ahead and get down there and purchase one of these. Comes with a hip strap, hip belt hook, and a strap. It's rechargeable, and it has been a killer add-on to all my pump systems. This makes doing curly cues with 160s a snap. All right. Also, if you have other ways that you need to do curly cues, you've got your pump system to do. If you can do it by mouth with a 160, you guys go ahead and do that. I do not want to pass out, right? There's the Filbert pump way of doing it too. Now, if you don't want to use 160s, you can use the 260s, but I do like the 160s because it just gives that little bit more of a flow. The, the 260s during the curly, you really need to get in there and do it and, it, and it does really fill it out, but the 160 version is what I like the best. That way, you have a little bit of gapping in there and it, it kind of really, look at that, it just shows you get it there. So we've got six. Now I'm doing a, a combination of a dark green and lime green. This is the forest green and lime green from Qualitex. These are some of my stuff coming out of the last bits of my bags. So they are the uh, forest green and lime green, okay? So let's get started. Oh, and you're gonna need a headband. And let's get started. So let's take this off. I'm gonna set that over here. Okay, we're gonna set it over here. I was hoping to kind of have it over there. Now, with my CD 690 pump, I'm gonna go ahead and pump these suckers up. Yes, I am not pre-inflating. One of the things I like about my CD pump. Pre-inflating helps stretch out the balloon before you pump it up to do a curly. It is one of the options that you wish to do. Go ahead and do it, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and get that because it gives it a nice wide curl. Okay. When you do a pre-flight inflate, you will get a nice, really tight curl. There's a couple in here with a pre-inflate. Nice, tight curl. Okay. And and it works really well. And this is. Some people will say, oh my gosh, Diana, you know, it's all right. You guys do what you feel best on making the curly cues, okay? Set that aside. So whatever works best on how you do your curly cues. This is the longest process of the whole thing. Once you get it all pumped up, putting it together is quicker than anything. So depending on how fast you are, depends on that. And what's really great is if you need help from a customer, you can have the customer hold on to the pop, hold on to the uh, balloon while you wrap it around your cylinder that you want to wrap it around, and they'll help you out and get these pumped up. When you have the customers and they interact with you while you're making a balloon, the balloon seems a little bit more special to them, and it's something that I enjoy doing also, especially when I make octopuses. I tell them, well, you're going to have to hold on to it. I always ask the kid, how many legs does an octopus have? Whatever legs they end up telling me is sometimes whatever legs they end up making. Unless some kid says 20, then I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, you know, got to be careful. Sometimes that does not work well for you, you know. Or I'll correct them and say, you know, they only have like, you know, it's an octopus, octagon, eight, you know. Yeah, getting a little itchy on that. I don't have any helpful hands today. All right, so let's get this wrapped up. We've got one more after this one to do. And like I said, this is just quick and easy. Oh, we got a, I twisted that one when I wrapped that around. You gotta be careful when you do that, that you do not twist and, and, and get that twisted in there. You're gonna end up having an exploded balloon. There we go. And one more. And what's really neat about doing this is um, it's great for any type of future 
um, event that you're going at that has mystical creatures. I do a lot of fairs and festivals. Some of the festivals I do is the winter, winter fair, and it has a mystical atmosphere to it. The Celtic festival is definitely going to be a mystical atmosphere to it also. So you're going to have this um, um, mythology thing going on, especially at some of the Renaissance festivals that I go to, and I run into, oh, I did it again, and I run into some great friends of mine that are Romans, and you know, Romans and Roman gods and everything like that, right? Well, it's great, and then we get to talking about some of the, some of the mythical creatures and some of the gods and everything like that that the Romans believed in. And we get going on that. Let's see if I can get that back in. Nope. What I ended up doing was breaking. I have to break off that nozzle because the nozzle broke and split. This one's going to be a little more difficult. Because I have bad eyesight. <laughs> All right. Yay! Sorry, this not like because I twisted it. Could be because I'm doing a little bit of chit chat and not paying attention while I'm wrapping it around my finger. This one's gonna be a little odd. I didn't wanna. That's all right. Still going to work. Okay, so we're going to take a couple of these, like so. We're going to find some centering. This will be where the center of the of the headband will be. And we're going to twist, right? Now, we know that we need it to kind of stretch out a little bit. So you took about three, maybe four. Okay. And then we want it to, to plume out a little bit more. So we're going to take like this piece here. We're going to tie on another bit of a snake. Snake body. Put some curly up in there, and if you're having problems with it curling through, attach it, send it through another thing. We're going to do it again over here. We're just going to go up a little bit. It can be odd. You do not have to have it evenly spaced. You don't really want it evenly spaced. Okay. So then we got this coming up here, and then we want it to wrap around, curl up. So it's kind of like, here's the center of the head, and you're kind of making the snakes come down this way and then come out here too, kind of like a ponytail thing, but you don't really see the ponytail type look. Okay, so then we know we're there. We want to add another bit. Curl. Curl. You know. Kind of stick him in where you think he's going to be best suited, which I'm going to put him with the other ones right here. Kind of get that in there. So you see, there it goes. And that's how it's going to set. See, each design will be a little bit different. Now, if you see, well, some of the heads are, these are the ends, these would be the heads. Some of the heads are, are facing inward too much, and you want them to go up a little bit. Give them a bit of a squeeze. Have the heads come up. So, so they're kind of coming up at you. And then you take a look at it and go, which is the best direction of the, of the, of the, of the um, piece where you're going to want it to face. Okay. Hold on. I only grabbed one headband. I need to grab the other one. So you got the headband. You just need a scrap of a balloon. Find where you have the four sections that you did first. Okay, I see what I did. Is I, I went out. I'm going to have to do it this way a little bit where I did, because I did the four sections here, and I kept building off of this end, and I didn't bring put any extra on this end. But that's okay. It's still going to work. So I'm going to take this section here. Take this and then I'm just going to grab a scrap, a little bit longer. You're going to need um, 
a good couple inches. Try to actually make the strap match the coloring if you want. So all I did was, so I take it and I'm going to wrap right up through here. I'm taking it and wrapping it up through these bunches, crossing it over, taking one this way and one this way, coming back down, and then bringing them both, both up at the same time. Medusa hair. Isn't that wonderful? That's pretty slick, isn't it? All right, so let's have some fun with this. I'd love to see you guys' version of the Medusa head, and this will be great for any type of adventure festival fair that you're going to. It is even great if you're just there and some kid wants some weird, crazy hat, and you have some time to do that, you give them the Medusa head. And what's really great is you have no need to make any type of drawing or anything on top of this on the heads. They know these are the snakes, you know. And you don't even have to change the little clip nozzles because you can say this is the snake with its tongue hanging out at you. So you get that combination of all that interacted in there and a person walks around with Medusa's head. Medusa's hair, <laughs> okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for being a part of my life. Thanks for being a part of my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have, are a first time watcher. And don't forget to comment and like and share. Hey, it's out there. Give it a share. Thanks for being a part. Hey, don't forget to practice. Practice and a lot more practicing because guess what? That's going to make you a great balloon twister. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.